yeah well in the previous session we understood how to create the value and uh, how to attach it <coughs> sorry so how to create a value in the aws then how to attach to the server and we validated fine but in the real time so you don't worry about to attach the value you just try the request to the vmware team okay vmware team or you can write the request to the storage team okay storage team so these people will allocate the run allocate the disk to your server you can go and verify with the f disk command as yesterday we discussed the same you can go and validate okay so so far we just we did only one step right in the this these steps how to create the value how to <clears throat> attach it then today we will see the disk partition okay so generally so whatever we dis whatever we attached that uh, attached right that volume called as a raw value okay so let me explain through the ms paint fine so now so far whatever we attached right so that volume called as a raw value so with that raw value you cannot store your data so ultimate goal is we want to store our data in the form of files or folders okay so that is the reason we are creating the file system so this is the so whatever you created right that one is the this key is we let's assume this is the server and we attach the value so what is the size i have mentioned guys 4 gb right so 4 gb i have i have created this correct so this 4 gb disk okay the 4 gb disk this is called as the raw disk okay so this is called as the raw disk so in the raw disk you cannot store your data then what you should do so you have to you have to make this partitions okay this raw disk you have to make into the partitions same size your partition nothing but a, you are dividing the parts right the same disk you are dividing so this is called as the disk partition okay so disk partitions you fine so now i will tell you how to make the partitions and what are the capacities limitations all the things we will discuss okay so there will be a limitations guys limitation in the sense so the system will allow you to create a particular numbers only in the disk partition okay so here there are two types of partitions okay so there are two types of partitions types are two actually three actually so later we will come to know so first partition type is primary okay and the second one is the extended okay so these are the two partition types with the help of these partitions only we are creating the we are making the disk partitions we are dividing into multiple partitions okay the raw disk converting into the this one convert into this disk partitions only so here we have three types okay so here we have two types so one is primary and extended okay and here you have the shortcuts p in the sense primary e means extended that's it 
okay just remember i will show you practically then how to make this partitions means again you can go and use the same command the command is this one you have this command okay so this is the utility guys this is the utility you can use with the help of this utility only you are dealing with your hard disks okay now i will show you how to make the partitions fine so let me go with the commands now okay so here this command every we know already fd hyphen l so you must execute with the root user okay yesterday we tried right so it's shown permission denied if you tried with the normal user okay so this will what it will do it will list out the volumes okay volumes and their partitions and their partitions okay so let me quickly connect to my server and i will show you give me a minute let me log in to my server Okay, my server is in shutdown state. Let me start my server. Okay, this is my mission. I successfully connected to my mission. This is my mission. Okay. So if I tried with the FT Sky Funnel, so what is the message, guys? What is the message showing here? Permission denied. What is the reason why it is showing like this? Hmm? Root means. So you are trying with the normal user. See, easy to use a normal user. So normal user won't execute this command. Okay? Then who will, who else execute this command? Means root user can execute this command. Then can use sudo. So this is the expected answer. Okay? You know the answer, but you should know, you should know how to explain also. Otherwise, how interviewer will come to know about your answer? Fine. So make sure you should explain it properly. Okay. So as we seen yesterday, also same output. See here. Until here, first one. See here. This is the raw disk. Okay. So total size is 8 GB, and these are the partitions. If you observe here. These are the partitions XVDA1, XVDA127, 128, something. Okay, so F disk having uh, the first raw disk having three partitions. Now, this is the OS operating system related disk, like your C drive. In your Windows missions, normally C drive having the operating system details, right? You can go and check if if you want okay in the same way 
the first hard disk is dedicated for the operating system in the linux okay and here you have three partitions now this is our disk now i will go and make the partitions on the second disk okay this is my second disk raw disk name slash dev slash xvdb note there is a note okay all devices okay all devices are exist under slash dev folder slash dev directory so far we discussed many directories right slash slash home slash root okay slash etc slash var slash tm so along with this slash dev also slash dev also one of the directory default directory where your all devices are exist devices nothing but a your cpu memory hard disk these are the devices okay so these are the devices cpu memory hard disk hard disk also device right and network adapters also network adapters under okay so these are fine now let me go and make the partition how to how to create the disk partition very very simple okay but be careful while working on the disk if you make any mistake means then it will be affect to your server your server will affect okay will get the effect be careful while working on the d even normal root so once you switch to the root user right so be careful while executing the any commands okay if you familiar with that command then only it's supposed to execute if something if you are not familiar if you are not sure about the command blindly if you are executing means that will be impacting on your server okay so real time very very careful while executing the commands fine now very simple same fd command only okay so fd command only syntax is fd raw disk name okay so disk name you can remember like this disk name so what is our disk name here slash dev slash anyone remembered disk name anyone so here i am highlighting right are you able to see my screen you should tell all the path man slash dev slash xvdb slash dev slash xvdb this is the raw disk name okay what is the first hard disk name yes slash dev slash xvda in case if i attach one more disk what will be the name of the disk xvdc that's it okay see series alphabetical series it is maintaining a b c that's it but raw disk this is the one xvd a okay xvdb xvdc in the real time you might see slash dev slash sda okay so sda if you have second disk slash dev slash sdp yesterday i explained right this and all okay so like that you can remember so now we have only this one 
one disk and second disk so now what i will do i will go and apply this here okay so now i want to create the disk partitions right slash dev slash sd b x v d b okay this is the one just go and execute here actually this is completely different page the moment you execute this command it will be moving to that f disk page okay f disk page will open so here only there are special keys are they designed okay so here let me go inside let me go and execute this command Shit. So sudo f disk slash dev slash xvdb. See, normal prompt not showing. That hash prompt or dollar prompt not showing here. See, the moment I execute this command, it is moved to the f disk page. This is called as the f disk page. Okay. So here you can click on that m. So here clearly telling that command m m for help. This keyword, see, only these keywords will work. The left column, left side, this column showing right A, B, C, D, F, capital F, L, N, P, T, V, I. This, this only will work. Okay, don't worry about all this. Out of this, you should remember the basic keys. Okay, so our ultimate goal is I want to make the partition. Okay, so here M for help. Okay, M for help. Then N, remember this one. So this will create a partition. Okay, and W, this will save and quit. Okay, so save and quit this one. If you want to only quit without making changes, just use the Q. Okay. Then if you want to list out the partitions. Okay. Print print the partition table. P means. Okay. And delete. D for delete. This will. This keys helping us to create your partitions and save. Okay. And print or, or if you want delete, you can delete. Okay. The moment. You create the partition. The naming should be slash dev slash xvd b1. Okay. And the slash dev slash xvd b2. If you have, if you create a second disk. In the same way, if you create a third disk, xvd b3. These are the naming conventions. You should remember. Okay. Now I will show you practically. I will show you. So here while you are creating, right? So there are only two types of two types of partitions. Okay. So partitions are two types. One is primary. Another one is the extended partition type. Okay. Extended partition type. Fine. So this primary, I will show you the shortcut is P. Okay. And uh, this one is the shortcut. So limitations, uh, we have limitations to create the partitions actually. So total partitions maximum we can create. Okay. So limitations uh, maximum we can create four only. So four only. So here either three or four you can select three or four. But this one extended is only one type. Only one table you have to. Okay. So let me show you in the paint. Let's assume I have this. I have this raw disk. 
okay so i want to let's assume this is my raw disk okay so now i want to make this uh, partitions okay so now how many maximum we can create guys four okay so how many primary how many extended limitations either all you can create as a four like p p p p okay but this extended type right this extended only you can create only one table as a e remaining must to be p only so like this so then p how many p's will will occur three or four but e is you must only create with the one partition that's it these are the limitations okay let's assume i created this 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 disk into four partitions okay so this four partitions so if you want you can define all as a p okay this one p this one p this one p okay this one either p or e okay so maximum four you can create under out of the four either you can three primaries or all four primaries you can define if all primaries are p means then you, you cannot create the e okay but just remember this is interview perspective only i'm telling but in the real time always people will select the primary type only so always select the the primary select primary one only they will select okay so remember i will show you let me what so my size is 4 gb what i will do i will create with the 1 gb okay so 1 gb one partition i will create so now tell me what is my raw disk name guys here slash dev slash xv db this is the raw disk name so what is my partition name slash dev slash xvdb one okay let me go and show you fine so so here normal keyboard won't work so n is for creation okay so n is for creation let me create it my session always getting expired So command is sudo f disk disk name xvdb this is the disk name okay fine the disk is currently in use some warning it is showing okay so we entered into the disk right maybe that process still exists in the server that's why okay anyhow it's a kind of warning now n see i am i am giving n option n for create a partition table okay create the partition table let me enter see here the first uh, option is so you have to enter your options so what type of what type of partition you want either primary or extended so simply you can go with the shortcuts i want to create with the primary see and the partition number also it is expecting so if you observe here currently zero primaries zero expectations are under maximum four maximum you can create four only okay so let me give one the table number one and sector as of now just ignore this just hit enter okay then you have to allocate some space okay the partition space we have to allocate so how to define this means you just give plus sign and 1t 1g so here either you can go with the sector wise or you can go with the this uh, uh, kilobytes megabytes gigabytes are right so in this way also you can create okay always pe people are prefer this type only okay because people are familiar with this size of the files right 
so kilobytes megabytes gigabytes terabytes para, petabytes okay so i have out of 4 gb i want to create a partition with 1 gb make sure guys plus sign you should give okay so enter hit enter see created a partition and uh, this type of the partition is linux and uh, size is 1 gb okay now you have to validate it right so here it is clearly telling that it's created now you want to see what it has created then you can go with p option this p option what it will do it will display the partition table see this is the part this is the raw disk and with the size okay and here you have the partition see i told right the name of the partition is xvdb1 and this is the starting sector ending sector total sectors and the size is this one and id then type of the partition is linux this id is very very important you should remember this id also interview questions okay now what i will do i will save so what is the option to save w simply hit enter that's it table has been altered so in our raw disk we created one partition fine so if you want to see let me execute this command f disk hyphen l sorry f disk hyphen l okay see earlier only raw disk was showing right now partition also showing because just now we created right see sometimes if you have multiple disks right this this command blindly it will display all the disk information now i don't want to list out all i want to specifically i want to list out only my my disk details means with the same command you can pass the disk name xvdb disk name you can pass okay see this time only it is showing the this disk details okay fine now what i will do see that's it so this is our second step we are following the steps right so first one is done disk partition make the partition this is done okay now you have to create the file system so file system nothing but a it's a in your if you compare with your uh, windows right it's like a drive guys the c drive d drive e drives are there right in your windows operating system so here in the linux we are calling as a file system okay even if you want to split your size so nowadays most of the laptops coming with the uh, coming with the single drive which is c drive i think mansoor recently purchased a laptop so what is the capacity of hard disk mansoor your laptop 512 GB. So, how many drives you have in your laptop? <clears throat> Only C drive, right? Yeah. So, C drive. So, if you want to divide, if you want to split that size, then you have to make the D drive or E drive, whatever. In the same way, here also, we are making the disk partition that's partition we are converting into the file system like a driver then we are utilizing it that's it okay so now this is the step creating the file system command is very simple okay so here we have created one partition with one gb okay so later i will create two and three or if you want you can go and create so let me create it again see my screen carefully i am going to create one more partition sudo f disk disk name okay so first you can go with the p command p option this will list out the 
the partition table so currently only one partition let me create with n option n option so again see earlier how many free are there free were there four now three because one primary already allocated now if i go with again p and uh, partition number this is your wish but go with the sequence and uh, first sector you can go with the default value hit enter in the last sector you should give the space okay i will give 2 gb or else 500 mb i will give 500 m okay 500 m i will give that's it again print it and save it or at a time you can create uh, one more okay so one see now two primaries are allocated already then zero extended and two are free okay let me go with again e start table first sector enter and the space space i will give like uh, 800 mb okay sorry plus already given right 800 m be careful if you simply give 800 means it won't understand you should give capital m m for megabytes hit enter see three partitions are there now simply type w and hit enter which will be saving your partitions now list out sudo f disk f disk hyphen l slash dev slash xvd b okay so that's it guys successfully we have created the partitions clear so far if you have any questions please All clear guys one second guys I'm getting an email huh? one second okay so so now what i will do i will go and i will create a file system on top of this partition okay so let me explain the first command then we will execute okay so command is mkfs this is the command mkfs okay syntax is this is also root user command mkfs dart here mkfs you should follow this uh, syntax guys dot under uh, file system type fs type okay fs type then your partition name okay so this is the partition name fine so mkfs dot file system type then partition name so what does it file system type means what does it means so here we have a couple of types ext3 ext4 okay or 
XFS. Okay, so these are the file systems. So later we will discuss about this. As of now, just follow it. Okay, there is the XT2 also, but the legacy one. Huh? So you can nowadays people are going with the XFS only. Okay, so we have many benefits with the XFS. So I will share one document which is having all information about the file system and all. Just walk through it. Okay, so now our command mkfs dot ext4 i will give okay then partition name what is the partition name guys slash dev slash xvdb1 okay xvdb is the raw disk name but here i mentioned as a partition name this is the partition name okay so this is the partition name you have to give fine let me go and execute this command mkfs dot ext4 slash dev slash xvdb1 permission denied sorry let me switch to the root rls always giving this error Currently used by the system will not make the file system here. Oh, okay. MKE2FS. Why? Maybe while we are trying, let me check this command. Yeah, many processes running. Okay, so let me kill this process. Okay, before sign off, we executed one command, right? Then my session got terminal out, right? So that's why these processes see running by which user root user. Now, how to kill the process, guys? How to kill the process? Exactly. Kill space cipher nine two six double two. This is the process. Okay. Let me delete two six two four also. No such process. Anyhow, it's gone. Okay. See here two four two two six two four your parent process is this one two six two two. If I delete the parent itself, child also gone. That is the reason it is showing no such error process. Now let me try to execute this MKFS command. Okay. Now see. See, file system has been created. That's it. Okay. So this kind of troubleshooting you should you should remember this kind of things, guys while working with your servers huh? okay if something throwing if something throwing the issue means definitely somewhere you are making the mistake or somewhere it is blocking or somewhere something went wrong okay you have to identify fine now file system has been created this is the file system your id okay and some super blocks some uh, tables uh, something done 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 showing okay that's it so finally you created the file system only file system creation is not sufficient to store your data okay you should go with remaining steps also these two steps are very easy okay so these three two two steps are very easy the mounting means Mounting means any idea? In general, what's what is meaning by mount? So generally in Windows operating system, if you are attaching or inserting any USB drives, right? Pen drives or mouse. Our keyboard with the help of the USB ports 
correct so automatically the functionality of the behavior of your operating system is automatically it will detect okay but in the linux if you attach something if you are insert something your system won't detect automatically okay here also the file system we created right your system won't understand that your your system won't allowing to use it directly okay so that is a reason we have to mount this file system on any one of the directory okay so better you can go with the create a directory we already familiar how to create a directory correct command is mkdir or you can go with root only can go mkdir and directory name okay so this is the command then you can mount that file system on this directory how to mount means command is this one mount is a command syntax is mount okay so mount then your file system name file system name nothing but your partition name only so here there is no any specific name for your file system the partition name whatever you given the partition name right here the same only your file system name okay then your directory name okay so this is the things guys file system name and directory name fine now let me convert into our command mount file system name is stay slash xvdb1 then i will create any any directory like or okay okay so here while creating the directory right here there is a note you should create you must create okay you should create a directory under root only okay this is the recommendations okay recommendations are you should create the directory under the root okay so now i will go and create a directory under root then i will mount this then i will validate okay so let me go and create the directory let me switch to the root guys see dollar prompt dollar prompt gone as prompt is coming what i will do i will create a directory called oracle see currently i am here right but i am creating under the slash okay either you can go with the cd slash then you can create the directory like oracle or directly so wherever you are wherever your cursor is blinking right wherever you are right so from there only you can give the exact path this is also fine okay so you can do anything from anywhere guys in the linux fine mkdir slash oracle okay has it's created check here see or racket where under root ls hyphen l slash means it will list out the all the content under the slash that is the reason that is the meaning ls hyphen l slash means okay fine now i will give this mount command mount slash dev slash xvdb1 this is my file system name mount point name is oracle slash oracle that's it successfully mounted okay so successfully mounted this is also done now validation and you can use so validations are very very important question okay how to validate how to display the file systems how to list out the file systems okay df is a command okay let me go and execute df so many files are mounted here okay 
these all are the file systems see file system first column is the file system and this is the see here size we cannot read it right if i ask you a question what is the size of our rkl so here you cannot understand right 99 67 80 i think 9,96,780 number it is showing some somewhat difficult right then you can use the wonderful option with the df command which is h df hyphen h now tell me guys now tell me what is the size of the oracle file system compared to 9967 so here easily you can understand right how much size it is 974 m m means m bis that's it megabytes okay so what is the option i used here h h means human readable format that's it okay so here we have one two three four five six columns l0 interview question what is the output of the dff and h there are many questions in the lvm guys disk partition in the lvm i will separately share the questions many questions or else let me maintain so here we are maintaining all the real time questions right interview questions this question what is the output of straightforward question df and h okay you should remember all those six columns file system name total size user size availability size total i mean use in the percentage then mount point name so we created the mount point this one right oracle so now this is the separate disk drive file system nothing but a disk drive so this is the separate one and now whatever you are placing here right so if you go inside this slash oracle okay cd slash oracle then you can you are create the files directories all right this will be storing under this file system the file system is before file system it was a partition okay you are specifically we are defining i want to store this data into specific location means this is the way this is the standard way people are storing the data that's it validation is df hyphen h command that's it these are the steps you should follow guys if you explain in interview they will ask very simple question how to create a file system see in the back end this much story you should explain during the interviews then only you will get impression and you will be cracking your interview and some people sir lvm stanza they will ask lvm we will discuss later what does it mean okay so now let me try to go and add some data in my file system okay let me download something guys how to download guys what is the command wget that's it let me download when on rpm i will download okay or zip file i will download okay so wget interview question see here where i am downloading under the oracle i don't want to download under the oracle i want to give some explicitly i want to give one location interview question was interview question is how to download a file 
how to download a file in in specific location okay so command is same wget but you should use the uh, options hmm iphone o correct iphone o then path then your w this url okay fine remember so see it's downloaded and this is done okay so let me see ls see this zip file is downloaded now if i execute df iphone h command now see how much utilized guys Eight point eight MB, very less one, right? This one. Let me download one more file, uh, which is having use size. Once again, I'm I'm getting one more website uh, to download something. Oh, see, downloading in my. Again, I am downloading one more thing. Let me see. See, it is downloading, and the progress also showing. Okay, okay, eighty-six MB. Oh, name itself same thing came. Huh? Okay, this is somewhat crazy. Okay. all devops tools i am downloading guys okay now let me check the size df hyphen h oh now 81% used Okay, see now total nine seventy four means one GB. Out of that, seven thirty MB is used. One seventy four MB is free. Percentage is eighty one percentage. My file system is utilization. My file system utilization is eighty one percent. Out of hundred, almost utilized. Okay, now. Let me try to download one more file. Okay, let me try try to download this. Super. What is the message here? See, ninety nine percent it is stopped. Not gone through the hundred percent. Why? What is the reason? No space left. So whatever we defined uh, one GB to the disk, that file system, right? That file system entire got full. There is no space. Let me go and check df and h. See, Oracle file system, hundred percent utilized, hundred percent data. Got placed. Now, how to overcome this? Still, people wants to download this one. How to overcome? 
how to sort it out exactly so in the disk partitions this is the main drawback so far whatever we discussed right this is a disk partition and creating the file system correct with the help of the disk partition directly you are created the file system means you won't extend this file system size it is the main drawback that is the reason we are implementing the lvm logically we are maintaining the managing the volumes logical volume management lvm that we will see tomorrow clear so far now you can now you can go on practice okay make the disk partitions you can select go with p type only okay then try to format the file systems the commands and all definitely will throw the output but before executing the command okay see i am blindly giving this command it is executing that's it it will give the output but in the back end you should try to understand what is this command what are these options and all okay then you can go on. fine that's it guys i'm stopping the recording